Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Valkyria Chronicles with me, Get Daved. In the last episode, we lost our sniper. That's okay. I think we can, if we play our cards right, can take them on this turn. Uh, first things first, I want to tank up there because there's so many me. shooty shoots. Shamrock's faster, so let's try getting it in there. Found us an enemy. And I'm excited by its Gatling gun. Found us an enemy. Not slang. Take him out. So maybe we can take out, uh, best case scenario, the AT gun. We only need 10 bullets. It's a bit of a long shot. Or not. Very excited by the Gatling gun. Um... We're gonna expose the Ragnite vent a bit, but there's another AT gun and Mash the Hunter. Um, I don't know if we need to take that mid camp actually. We might be able to just push right to the end here. Um, we can do this. Here we go. No, oh, turn the other way. Okay, let's see if we can get someone over there. That's a super long shot. I don't like my odds. Okay, good. Just barely. So it's still hit with about half of its bullets. Okay, and it's getting shot in the vent. Um, we may have actually blockaded that path. Because this looks out of bounds. Oh, that looks blocked. And I was thinking hey, I could make some cover for uh, Alicia, but um, now I'm not so convinced that that's even going to work. I've got nine actions. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six enemies. I think there's probably no one I can't see. I guess there could be... You know, there's probably like some elite with a really good gun hiding off to the side there. I don't actually want to miss out on that possibility. There's also a ton of enemies in cover there. Uh... Oh yeah, I have smoke ground. Okay, capture it anyway. Just in case Alicia gets shot down. Which is quite likely. Sir, we've managed to claim the midway camp. Roger that. Let's use it as a foothold to push into enemy territory. Yeah. Or, you know, a hospital. Their defenses are only gonna get tighter. I need you to stay sharp, Kreese. <laughs> I can't stress how little yes, he's done. I guess there's one helpful mortar shot. Can't beat the smell of fresh soil. Okay, we got Sniper Wolf up there, and the person shooting at her. Okay, we need five out of seven. Five in a row, perfect. I guess he wasn't actually that far. If you're getting shot by a trooper, you're probably pretty close. Um, with her turn, I was planning on doing something over there, but I actually might be able to skip that entirely. Will she get slaughtered as soon? Oh yeah, she's gonna get shot as soon as she crosses here. Not him. just gonna have to be patient. 
The problem is... She's not gonna have much... Like, she'll barely have enough CP to get there in two turns now. Leave it to me. This is what I should have done a while ago. Back it up. Keep an eye on your rear. Turn it around. Not quite what I was hoping to accomplish. I was hoping I could get them both lined up. Ooh. Why? Then we could kill both. I should have killed the one in cover. This is actually a really big mistake, but... Maybe not. Alright, I think we're clear. Also, I have okay visibility of the corner I was worried about, and it seems legit. Wow, still pretty impressive. You rat. Okay, then. Play it that way. Let's play it that way. Man down, everybody be careful. And success. On the last mission, I occupied the camp while there were still enemies Sir, out there. We've done it! We've occupied the enemy's primary base! And then Asara got shot by a straggler, so I know it's not tied to the story, but that there's still a sniper out there is a little disconcerting. Great, that's excellent. Greece, I'm proud of you. You drove 50 yards. Sir, I still can't hold a candle to Asara, but I did what I could. You keep bringing her up and compare yourself to someone else forever. It's ours, Ease. Home is finally home again. Yeah. And your Edelweiss is alive and well and in good hands. You can rest easy. Her people are in crematoriums, man. We won a single symbolic victory. Let's not kid ourselves. Yay, lots of money. Enhanced block pin. Fascinating. And if we go uh, go to the awards hall, maybe we'll get lots of fun guns. Oh, I don't know how I feel about this. I guess Alicia likes these plants. The lion's paw. Well, that's it, Welkin. No sign of the enemy here, either. I searched all over. Looks like they've cleared out of Pool. That's good. We've finally recovered possession of our old homestead. Yeah. But if Isara saw it as it is now, I think she'd feel sad. Yeah, it's got I some mean, scars of the war. It. Empty of all the people who lived here, the mill just barely standing? Look at that! Welkin? What is it? What do you see? Flowers! Look. A lion's paw! Uh, the Latin name for Idlevice. The same one? Mm hmm. It's the flower that you planted that day. When we'd first met each other, it took root and grew in this soil. And now it's flourishing. This is an opportunity to make out. Remember what you said? 
that there's more going on in this world than just people killing people? There are new lives all around, new things being born, even in the middle of war. I was right. And if I let myself get depressed, well, Isara wouldn't want that. You gotta stop turning her into like a Once figurehead. Once this war's over and we come home, we'll just have to rebuild it. We'll rebuild all of it, every last building. Yes, we will. And we'll show Martha's little Don't boy. stare at the camera, boy. We'll show him the town where he was born. Yeah. All right, neither a swing nor a hit by Welkin there. We're almost at Imperial territory if we retook the Brule. The liberation of Brule was a success. Excellent work, soldiers. Lieutenant Gunther, do you have anything further to report? I saw an amazing flower. Yes, Captain. Here it comes. Through this off, I... We found a new goal to strive towards. Very good. And Falvio, you're back from your leave. Feeling rested and ready? Uh, yes, Captain. I'm ready. Mm, you look spooked. Good. We're receiving reports of major shifts along the front lines. Imperial forces previously posted all over the country are gathering at one point. Attack the stronghold. The Nagyar Plain in northeastern Gallia. Our forces are being directed there as well. Does that mean we're expecting a major clash at Nagyar, Captain? No, I think we'll have diplomacy. It's very probable. This battle is going to decide Gallia's fate one way or another. After a brief rest, the militia move out to Nagyar. Hmm. I want all of you rested in the meantime. You're dismissed. I wonder if Faldio is going to mention something. So what you're saying is, the next battle is so critical, it could actually determine how the rest of the war goes. Yeah. Both for us and them. The opposing armies are assembling their forces at Nagyar. It'll be the biggest battle we've fought yet. The biggest battle of the war. Um, that means more things we love will be destroyed. More people we care about will be taken away. There are some things we lose that never get returned. That's the world. Everything around us is in flux. Everybody under the age of 13, the ask your parents if you can keep watching this. To know. Isara. We've lost them forever. Welkin. But it's like you said, Alicia. We build new things as we lose the old. Create new if we life. can win this battle at Nagyar, we can push the Empire all the way back to Northeast Gallia. If that happens, then victory will be right around the corner. <laughs> Once the war's over, the real work will start. We'll build a new mill plaza. In fact, we'll build a whole new town. Right. And I'll be there to help you. You know, it's funny. Whenever I talk to you, I feel like everything's going to be fine. Yeah? Well, you're the only reason I haven't completely lost it, Alicia. Really? Thank you, Welkin. Me too. I'm glad we were able to meet and work together. You can just hear that piano. That's right, walk away. Welkin? What is it? Once this war is all over, I have... There's something I want to tell you. Anything. That's a friend zone hug, everybody. Welcome, there's a guy I like. What should I do? Chapter 13, The Clash at Nagyar. I have a horrible fear. Oh my. 4B. Four, 
4B. Now I'm worried. Um, yeah, let's set up the next one. Let's just keep going. I might do the skirmish off camera or something, but uh, they're just... You just put defense boost on a scout and run them in. After wresting it from the Empire's control, Squad 7 left Brule for Nagyar, the stage for this war's grandest battle. Even as they traveled, an increasing number of soldiers streamed into both camps. Both sides braced to feel the brunt of the other's army in the fight for all of Gallia. This will end well? General, as I've said a hundred times now, I strongly recommend a change of tactics. Is that fat With guy gonna wreck things? Numbers, it's lunacy to send the Gallian forces on an all-out attack. We'd stand better chances centered around our defensive holdings, fending off advances. The enemy have gathered in one place for us. We can't let this chance slip by. Yes, if you had a bomb, it would be wonderful. If we win this one battle, we'll be able to kick those imps out of golly up or good. Use our inferior numbers to underwhelm them. General, we lack the manpower to break through an enemy force that large. If we're short on soldiers, why aren't you out drafting more farmhands for us? Do you honestly plan to let our countrymen die needlessly out there? This has got a very World War I vibe. When attack, if not now, Varat, we will win this battle. We must. We'll throw everything Gallia's got at them. A few casualties are going to be inevitable. If you've got time to sit there fretting, go light a fire under those yokels of yours. I really hope Matt Damon leads the charge here. Understood. I will do my best. Sorry, I'm late. Oh, enjoy those blissful seconds of ignorance. We're still on standby. I'm figuring we'll get the order to move out a bit past noon. Your guys' success on your previous suicide mission has emboldened the entire army. Gotcha! Is everybody ready to go? All set and waiting for the word. But it sure looks like the enemy's got us in numbers. They do. The invading front's nearly all here. This one's gonna be a major battle. I've made my peace with it and all, but seeing them all lined up out there is heavy. Don't worry, I've got a Guys, plan. Can I say something? We're gonna send Alicia in without support, and we're gonna see how many people she can kill before she finally gets shot, and we have to improvise a totally new strategy. Um, I grew up in an orphanage. I don't have a family, and I always thought I was alone. But Welkin showed me I was wrong. That I wasn't alone at all. Not anymore. The Sevens are... You guys are my family now. The squad's your family. Before a big battle like this, it's scary. I figure I feel just like all of you do. But when I think I'm here alongside my family, I feel strong enough to fight. I hope no one else Bad, dies. Huh? My old folks are gone, and I got no siblings, but I bet this is what it's like. Of course, any siblings of mine would have grown up a lot better acting than you lot. Sounds odd to say it, but you're right. And I bet Isara's watching over us all. All right. Let's go do this. Let's form a religion around Isara. Yeah, let's go put holes in those tanks. I can only assume he's not referring to our yeah. own. Then let's all come back here together. Otherwise, we desperately need Asara's technical expertise. We'll get through this fight and see Galia free again on the other side. Oh, they're setting up another tragedy. Silveria is just gonna kill everybody. Your Grace, 
All troops have arrived at Nagyar and adopted combat positions. This time we'll crush their feeble army and see your grace to the doorstep of Randgris. They sure want to get so. there. Silvaria, you have never failed me in your loyalties thus far. I exist because you exist, one aside the other. You go with my trust. Sir, your grace, you are too kind. Why does she have him on such a pedestal? I was a worthless wretch before you brought me into the light of your grace's company. Mm. Estranged from my parents before I could know them. Thrown into that research facility. Federation? The object of heinous experiments and deprived of human contact. But your grace took me from that place. Raised me to be a human before Valkyria. Then awaken the powers within you. I betrayed the trust you placed in me. No, Grace. Once I learned that the Valkyria's powers stir only when the body faces death. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe Alicia isn't a Valkyria. <laughs> I didn't hesitate a moment. I would gladly pierce this breast again, even now. When you granted me the shield and the lance from the ruins, I became Valkyria only for you. Never until then had I thought to feel pride in the Valkyria's blood within me. Now is the time to show the world the power that blood holds. You're being manipulated, Silveria. Go forth, Silvaria. Bring victory to my army. He may have had compassion, but... Yes, sir. Good intentions one day can still be manipulation on another. Oh, goodness. at 015. Gallian forces approaching. Approximately two regiments. Silly fools. Hm. Now feel the power of the Valkyrie. Does not look like a lance. Showdown at Nagyar Part 1. I've got all sorts of optimism about the next episode. I'll see you there, everybody. <laughs>